In this channel, we have a tradition where I suit up for the season finale, but still no pants. And you know why? Because this is a hobby, not a job. Let's begin. How are we going to punish him? Exile. Manual labor for the rest of your life. His mask? Oh, there's a reason why he had the mask on, but also scar? When did this happen? <laughs> we scarred him? Lexi's magic did this to him. What happened? Huh? So he got hit by this accidentally. We healed it. Then he went crazy. So the wounds came back. Or. Wait, 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 wait. No, we didn't scar him. He just fucking started scratching himself because he couldn't handle the fucking magic from Lexia. It's some bullshit. Therefore, you scratch yourself more? I, it sounds like he's blaming everyone but himself. You can kind of like sympathize with him because he got disfigured because of Lexi's magic. Kind of. Technically, he healed him. And then he just started scratching himself. Now, can we blame him on the impulse? I don't really know. Maybe you can relate a little bit. I, Dude, I don't even know, man. We, we can probably heal him. We have some crazy magic potions and shit. But what if you could solve your family problem? Oh, magic potion? Yep. <laughs> Green potion saves the day. Uh -huh, just pour it over him and he'll be completely fine. Easy. How does it work? Don't worry about it. Watch it immediately go away. What? <laughs> this shit's too effective, man. And now, can you live a proper life now that you're healed? Or are you gonna still blame Lexi on my impulses? <gasps> I'm beautiful! <laughs> yeah, it's all good now. I don't understand either. Yeah, it's just called a cure all herb. Just solves everything. Very convenient. Now pay me the money for using this potion on you. <laughs> exactly. What the fuck? How is this just so easy for him? I shouldn't be surprised at this point though. Legendary. So they do know of it. How do you have such a thing? Yes. Now hand me your daughter. I just casually have them growing in my garden, this legendary herb. That's a pretty, that's a, that's a big sin. That's right. Technically, if you think about it, Luna also tried to kill her. And she, she's working for us now, so, I mean, come on. It really is, though. Lexi doesn't care. Whether or not she's just this benevolent. Maybe she's dumb and naive. I mean, yeah, so was Luna. That's what I like. Did they really think about this shit? This is some crazy shit. But hey, it's fine because it's, it's that kind of anime. Don't worry about it. The way that she's making it sound is extremely simple because, because like, her brain just works in such a simple way. And you might think that it's dumb. Maybe it is. But hey, it gets shit done, kind of. It's not this kind of like serious anime where he's gonna like plot some kind of betrayal in the future or like Luna will technically taking advantage of Luxia to kill her in the end. Like, nah, it's not that kind of show. She's maybe the right one to rule over a kingdom if she's so kind. Total 180, holy shit. The way he talks and everything too. <laughs> How about a harm route? Multiple brides. But that's kind of crazy if you take the crown princess as one of your harm. Like, this is a big deal, man. Technically, you become a king by having her as the queen. But, like, the fact that you can have a harm on top of that? Bruh. The audacity. But it's Yuya. 
it's, it's fucking New Year. It's gonna be fine. The king's gonna be like, take my daughter. Oh, nice! He get his assets too! Lord Knight. Wow. But uh, I don't think they really care about that. They just wanted the, the marriage. Fuck these lands, man. Wait, I just realized. It's no longer just home ownership of two places. He's got fucking third now. This is the most ridiculous thing. It's not his powers. It's not about the fact that there's so many girls that's after him. No, it's the fact that he has three fucking home ownership. What? Oh. Oh. Cody. Oh, it's... Why? Oh, poor Cody. Hmm? She around? Oh. It's the vial. Already? Okay. Maybe that's impressive that she sees him as a threat already? Against mankind. Why? I don't know. She just thinks that humanity is... is deserves to die. Hey, what happens if we jump into that portal ourselves? That's where we draw the items and shit from. What if we just go in there too? Not you, but your mankind. I'm not honestly expecting like a proper backstory from her for her reasons to like destroy mankind. Like this isn't a show where you're expecting a well-crafted villain that has a really uh, a backstory that you can empathize with and that you kind of want to root for it, even though they're like a morally great character. Like this isn't that kind of show. In fact, even the battle that I'm watching right now, I'm not mad about the CGI, but I just don't give a fuck about the combat in this show because I'm not watching this show for the combat like I've mentioned multiple times. I'm just here to fucking watch a random pedestrian nut over Yuya just because he's outside walking around. Maybe that's kind of the interesting thing about this anime. It has no identity in what it wants to do. The episodes where it um, went to the mall and we were doing all that modeling shoot stuff, that was actually really fun. That actually enjoyed that a lot. But it go it shifts from slice of life, just like human aspect stuff. And then we come into this world and we do some crazy fights. And like, what is the identity of this show? Maybe they're trying to like dual wield both things. But when you try to chase two rabbits, you catch neither. And I think this show is a perfect example of it not understanding what it wants to be. Therefore, there are times when you just don't enjoy the show as much. You know what I'm trying to say? Cowdy, stop her. Cowdy, go stop her. What are you going to do? <laughs> she can just shoot through the rock, yeah? But not if Cowdy can do anything about it. Oh? Master Usagi. Took you long enough. Where were you? Successor of the Divine Archer, meaning she should also be a divine but became a vile. Revenge on. Because the master died? Because of some humans? I, I don't know. And then she became a vile for revenge? Oh, okay. I mean. Okay, I, I understand what's going on. But it just feels so sudden just throwing this shit at the end, you know? Technically, she did show up like a way earlier, but this backstory I'm talking about. Maybe Yuya can convince her somehow to stop being so edgy. And then, maybe you can become a divine again. We'll see. I just realized, Yuya's armor is like a different color. When did that change? What? Imitate what? Kicking? Cowdy's still around. What is Cowdy gonna do here, though? Are we really gonna kick? <laughs> he actually kicked. I thought he might have been joking, imitate what I was doing before. But okay. Oh, oh, oh! What? Of all the attacks so far, Knight's bite was the most raw because I could actually see blood coming out. Oh. Yo, Akatsuki, get in there too. Get a nibble in. Oh no! <laughs> okay. A new transformation? Let's see. Became a vile god. So she wasn't a vile before. Now she is actually becoming one? Or maybe there's a transformation between a vile to a vile god. Coyote's still around. And Yuya's armor turned back black. Not sure why it turned back to silver to black, but eh. 
Knight. Oh, I swear to God, if Knight gets hurt, I'll be actually so upset. Akatsuki, nowhere to be found. Oh, there, there was Akatsuki. You want to run? Are you sure you should be doing this? You can kind of see his butthole. That's an X. <laughs> what? Are you sure you want to do this? AOE support? I don't really know what this is doing. I forgot what Akatsuki's spells do. It can cleanse the vile aura? Huh? Of all people, Akatsuki is the one clutching. She can, he can just nullify the vile. What? Nothing personal, kid. But damn, let's go, Akatsuki. Now we have to uh, somehow, like, I don't know, convince her that all humans aren't bad. Maybe we'll go on a date, treat her to nice food, and she'll be like, Oh my god, good humans exist! Thanks, Yuya! And everything will be solved. But what the fuck is Kaori doing? Oh. Okay, Akatsuki might be more important than Knight. Ah! They're equally important. Akatsuki might be more OP than I thought. I thought this was like a temporary thing where you get hit by it once and you kind of pass out, but then they'll be back later, but... Don't tell me she's gonna start seeing the master in Yuya. He was a kind person like you. <laughs> oh shit. No. <laughs> like right now? <laughs> like right now we have no reason to love you, what? <laughs> hey, it's a cliche, but it's nice. This is so dangerous for you to be here. Like that, but it's gonna be fine. <laughs> so cool. Are we gonna ignore her? Okay, okay, I thought he was actually walking past again, like back at school. <laughs> I level up in this world. Is it cheating? Uh, eh. Working hard. She can level up too, right? Maybe? Since episode one? I think she's talking about like the kindness. That's never changed. Like obviously his physical appearance fucking changed. <laughs> his levels and like, you know. Combat has changed, but he's talking about the kindness in his eyes that you recognize. Oh, this is the ending theme. Are we done already? Yo, what about the fucking model? You know, the Frieza was like looking for Yuya. What about that plot? Like, what the fuck are we doing? I don't, I don't, I don't even care. I, I don't even care, man. Oh, Cody and Lexio met and Luna. <laughs> Another. I'm surprised she's not upset. I thought she'd be like, fuck, another person that I have to compete with to become a wife. These two- Nah, uh-uh, I don't forgive, uh-uh. These two shitty-ass blood-related brother and sister. No, they can fucking die. I hate them. The vile girl. She joined us. UT, right? And UT is just gonna fawn over you in class, right? And everybody's gonna be like, oh my god, he's so lucky. Well, that's that. And a lot of people are probably thinking the same thing I am. This anime, well, I never had expectations for it to be some kind of amazing, well-written anime. I went into this anime fully aware that it's gonna be a fucking shit show, but I'm gonna have a lot of laughs because the premise was fucking ridiculous. And it did deliver a lot of times. Like, him fighting against the entire gang and jumping out the fucking, I don't know, school, like the fourth balcony, everyone be like, oh my god! Him walking around, just taking a step outside and random pedestrian just nutting over you, you. That kind of aspect I really liked about this anime. I don't regret watching it. There are some times where I'm just like, eh. Like, when we're in the other world and we're just like fighting random mobs and leveling up, that's probably like the things that I enjoy the least because again, combat isn't what I'm watching this anime, anime for. Like, even the combat's all fucking CGI. Not that I have anything against CGI. It can be done if executed properly. But like, come on, guys. Did you really care about the combat? Like, wow, Omniblade, this amazing spear, bow attack. Like, that was cool in the beginning for a bit, but then it kind of wears off. What I really wanted to see was like the more human interactions on Earth where you just some kind of this godly being and everyone's like, oh my God, he's so fucking impressive. And as ridiculous as it was, I still enjoyed it. I hope you guys did too. Now, we got a new brand new anime season coming up next week and I hope to see you there. And until next time, take care.